Chat, welcome once again to Card Sauce. I have a very special edition of Card Sauce this time around. And I'll explain why. Well, the main reason is because I have this. Oh, wait. You don't want that. Yeah. I've got this. I've got this. And I've got this. Yep, those are the originals. Now, they are the unlimited editions, which was basically made to keep up with the demand. So they're not first editions, but they are from that time. I didn't actually buy these. Uh, a chat member sent them, and they wanted me to credit them simply as chat member. So I didn't spend anything, uh, which is amazing. Thank you, chat member. I, I can't believe you would do this. I, I have other packs, too, some rare ones. I was told... I have an e-reader pack, and I have this, which is exceedingly rare, from what I understand, and I'm very excited to open this one. So, uh, you know, there's thousands of dollars worth of cards in this collection here today. Um, so again, thank you, chat member. Now, I have my own... I, I supplemented this set of cards with my own spicy additions, as usual. Um... So I don't even know where to begin. Maybe the Illuminati New World Order booster pack? Ugh. Yeah, let's do it. So, Chad, I have a new setup, kind of, and um, card sauce can make my back ache a little bit. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, so please be patient with me. And uh, I will be opening cards for you. You can see the the uh, board here, I got this from Fangamer. Um, I have two of them because I, I ran out of room for pins. So I've got some some interesting new ones. You can see some of them, kind of clearly. Uh, and my lighting setup is different. I was using an old flashlight with a napkin on it previously. Now I actually have one of them fancy streamer lights that is uh, diffuses the light pretty nicely. So, you know... All right, uh, first we have Illuminati New World Order Booster Pack. So I'm going to try my best to figure out how to do this. Uh, so, so give me a chance to, to uh, do this. Oh, God. All right, so I don't even know what the fuck these cards are. They, these were just sent my way, but let me see if I can maybe, like, get them. Yeah, like, get over here. Hmm. Well, that's not good. I might need to put some cards underneath that. Yeah. Oh, much better. Okay. So I don't even know what... Is this a game? Savings and loan scam? Play this card anytime using the card in action for one group. Um, lighting is, is an issue, isn't it? Eh. Let me see if I can diffuse the light up a little bit more. Get the napkin. Yeah, seriously. If I just tilt it a little bit. I think, yeah, we're going to want some, some better focus as well. Uh... We have pull focus. Is that better? No, that's not really better, is it? That's pretty good. Okay, so that's that's good. That said, though, I could probably do a better job with the lighting. That's not a better job. Hmm. Can I lower this light even further? No, can't lower it. Is that a Red Vox sticker? Yeah. I had some reflective ones made. Yep. 
I guess we could do something like this. I could do like a side light. Yeah, this'll do. Alright, so um, once again, I think this is... Voodanistas? Huh? Meteor Strike? Disaster. This is an instant attack to destroy any place. Does not require an action. Its power is 16. If the attack succeeds, the target is devastated. If the die roll succeeds more than 4, the target is completely destroyed. Okay, so yeah, it seems to be... Oh. Mossad? Uh... Hmm. Mutual betrayal. Oh god, chat. Oh, this next one, people are gonna lose their shit. Liberal agenda? Play this card at any time? <laughs> it requires action by either the Illuminati liberal groups with total power equal to the resistance of the target group, double to the group uh, currently conservative, add bonuses. Wait, is this... What the fuck are these cards? If target group becomes per, per, uh, permanently liberal, if it was conservative, the alignment is lost. Keep this card linked to the target. Whoa. I think 9-11's probably going to be here somewhere. Media Blitz. Wow, what a start to this fucking card sauce. Jesus. Car Bomb? This game predates 9-11. You might be right, chat member. Hang on a minute. Where's that? Let me read this here. It says here, Betray your friends, crush your enemies, control the world, drink some coffee. The Illuminati New World Order booster pack is used with Illuminati New World Order. Right. 409 cards in the first release. That's a lot of fucking cards. 1994. Oh. Well, I guess it was a different time. Imposter? Please, please tell me this isn't like, okay, this is a human wearing another human skin and not some kind of reptilian. Got it. Ah, yes, the Loch Ness Monster. No Illuminati card set would be complete without a Loch Ness Monster, of course. The Frog God. Okay, I love this card. The idols are both frightening and silly, and no one knows why the masters keep them around. Uh, oh. Hallucinations? Telepathy. International cocaine smugglers. <laughs> what is this art? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's, uh... That's something. Madison Avenue? Is it like Monopoly? You need more stuff. It's like, they live. Hell of a start we got here with the um, Illuminati cards. Didn't even know these existed before today, so... Shit. That is impressive. Of how insane that card set is. Um, it exists. Now you know. So then, we'll go from that to New Kids on the Block. Oh man, I can't wait to see which one I get. My favorite New Kid on the Block was, uh, Kremrold. It's my favorite. I've opened these types of packs before. This is a wax pack. So you can see it's very cheap. And, uh... We've got- oh, these are crusty. I mean, the card stock is just crusty, but you have Jordan. Jordan on the block. They, they don't even have information on the back. They're too lazy. Okay. Joe McIntyre. Joe's biggest turn on is being home in my car with a special girl. This new kid's biggest turn off. Being told you have a day off and then not having one. Okay. I mean, so true. 
Hang on a second. Do I have auto color on? I guess not. This is, um... Oh, this is, uh, Jason. J Jason. Wait, what's his name? Nikotquiz? That's his name? Nikotquiz? I don't know who that guy is. Oh, I, this guy. This is, uh, Max. Max New Kid. Oh, no, that's also Nakatpa Quiz. Alright. Where's Marky Mark? Chat, which one of these is Marky Mark? Are any of these Marky Mark? On the right? Because Mark Wahlberg was in this band, this boy group, group wasn't he? No. He was... his... his brother was. Oh. Donnie was? So then, what, Marky Mark was not in New Kids on the Block? I thought he was. God, the fashion, too. Jesus. It's really like a time capsule. Being a singer means acting like a professional. The new kids take their work very seriously, but they also take their fun very seriously. What does that mean? It is time to learn about Stylish. That's his name. Ever since they rocketed onto the charts, the new kids in the block hairstyle has been super popular. All the coolest guys go for this hot look. Short hair with a long rat tail. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my fucking god. Oh, now I know. Okay. Do you want a goosebump? Perhaps goosebump cards. 169. Bam. How long was your rat tail? I didn't have one. My cousin had one. It looked like Obi-Wan fucking Kenobi. That's just called the Padawan braid. The late 90s changed things quite a bit. While I try to open this, because it's like double sealed, it's in like... Frustrating plastic. I'm gonna do a Marky Mark impression, I'm gonna do it! I don't know, I don't know where we're going! I don't know how to open this! He's always, um, Marky Mark is always, Mar sorry, Marky Wahlberg is always, like, exasperated. I don't know where we're going! I don't really sound like him, but the inflection is probably there. So here's Goosebump card. Number one. I don't know what that's from, but I guess we'll find out. So it shows you, oh, I remember that book, kinda. This one's from Say Cheese and Die. Yeah, I had some of these. This is a very popular series when I was a kid, so the books were all over the goddamn place. Night of the Living Dummy. The Haunted Mask Awakens, or The Haunted Mask. I'm not afraid of this hamster. I would punt it so hard out a window if it came at me all rabid and shit. Cuddles the hamster from Monster Blood 2. There's RL himself hanging with some monsters. This one is from... What does that say? That says, um, Monster Blood. Yeah. Whoa. Bunch of cool kids. Say cheese and die again. I guess this is like an early set. Did you see the TV show? I saw some of the TV show. I, I watched not a lot of Goosebumps. I liked, um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Welcome to Camp Nightmare. I, this is my favorite of these cards, is this Mantis. Did you know there was a Mantis that watched a guy jack off into a cup on a UFO? It was in a documentary. It's on Netflix, I think.
And what's this one from? It's like just the house on fire. This one is the ghost next door. Okay. Yeah. Um, I also have some Pokemon 151. Now, before we get to the, the rare Pokemon packs, for those that don't know, we, we've got some interesting card packs here today. Like, originals. And they could be anything. And uh, we have... This is one of the newer sets. This is 151. Which, I got these at Comic-Con, I just didn't open them. Because uh, I kind of lost interest in collection. I figured, ah, I'll save it for next card sauce. That was two months ago. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect from this set of cards. But maybe we'll, we'll do all right. Oh, okay, so the light being in the way is a bit of a... My arm is in the way. Uh, Grimer. We got a Psyduck. Ekans. So these are the original 151. Which is probably why it's called 151, if you can believe it. Hypno. Polyrath. I like the art. Uh, Pidgeot. Rapidash. Oh! I got an Ivysaur. Full art. That's gotta be good, right? That seems nice. Was it worth? $20? 20 cents? Two month old cards. Hell yeah. $8. 20 cents. $8. Excellent. And also an Articuno. $13 card right there. That paid for the pack. Or paid for the set, almost. Vinny, the Pokemon card market crashed. Oh, I know. And an Articuno. Yeah, well, that's nice. Listen, I'll tell you what. When it goes back up again... In 20 years... I will be... Rich. Let's do another one of these, and then I'll go to more variety. I'm going to just intersperse these. Uh, there's, I think, four packs of these in here. So. All right. So we got Vulpix. We've got Magnemite. We've got Caterpie. We've got Eevee. Get back there, card. We've got Omanyte. Tauros. Kadabra, Horsey, Sandslash. We've got a Zapdos card. That's pretty cool. Bird Up. That's a good hit, right? I mean, I don't know. First Kadabra card since 2002. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, we got Zapdos. And we also got basic energy, but it's like a hollow foil energy. Kadabra was banned for a long time due to a magician suing the company. The fuck? Okay, so, I mean, I think those are some decent cards. I don't really know anymore, chat. I haven't really collected... That was a dark time in my life, collecting Pokemon cards. <laughs> uh, wacky packages. Sleeve them? I don't have sleeves nearby right this moment. So I'm gonna have to, uh... Oh, Yuri Geller actually was the one that sued? That hack. Oh, sorry. Uh, allegedly that hack. So this seems like an older Wacky Packages. Tops, 25 cents. So I don't know how rare this is, but 1990? Some of these may be rare. I was told by a chat member that sent these that there are rare packs of cards in here. And I know Wacky Packages is still going to this day. And I think this is just parody items. Oh, already. Extraterrestrial Sizems. It's out of this world. Uh, It's a parody of a product, but I don't know what the product is. Wacky Packages are the original... Garbage Pail Kids. Interesting. Extraterrestrial Seasums. Seasums. 
Okay, well, I love that. Yeah, these are uh, celest Celestial Seasons equals T. Oh, they still exist. Truckers. So, Smuckers. Strawberry Traffic Jam. Okay. I get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Scrawny. Brawny. The skinny little paper-thin towel. Couldn't pick up a spill with a crane. Ha. Huh. Corpse Light. Looks 90% thinner at your wake. Look 90% thinner at your wake with Corpse Light. Brewed with the green toxic water of Love Canal? What? Less filling so you can drink more and get sick faster. Love Canal? Now this is comedy. Because we got a callback. Nude kids on the block. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is bad. No, 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 no. No, fuck no. Ugh. Anyway, let's move on to the next set. We've got Pokemon stickers. Love Canal is a polluted dump in upstate New York. Okay. I see. So I don't know when these stickers are from. I don't know how chat member acquired some of these items, but um, it seems these are 1999 chat. So this is again, a very, I, I mean, th you know, there's some history here. Uh, I almost don't want to open this stuff, but I also kind of feel like that's why they were sent to me was, you know, to open them. That's what I was told. Really weird, like, material for the pack. I don't know how to explain it, it just kind of peeled off the cards. It was a little weird, but, um... We got, um... Which one's this? I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, Dugong. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, Lickitung. We've got uh, Snail Man. I don't remember the name of that one. Almanite. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We've got one, you know how they, they like to make ones that create a bigger picture so you keep collecting. There's Raichu. And there's Weedle. So yeah, I don't know how rare those are, but they're small and they're pretty cool. And they're from 1999, so I'll... I'll take good care of them. I got... some Nintendo cards. With... it looks like... trading cards from 1991? Alright. And they are, in fact, sealed. They were double sealed. Safe Kids Campaign? So... Zelda 2, Link. So obviously, I'm a big fan of Zelda 2, so I like this card. In a time when people didn't have last names, Link was born to Arn and Medelia, who were best known for their unusually pointed ears. They all lived in Kalatia? Until Link turned 16 years old and left home to seek excitement and adventure. What? His travels led him to Hyrule, where he defeated the evil wizard Ganon and rescued Princess Zelda. Now Link mostly just likes to have fun, battling moblins, storming castles, and trying to kiss Zelda. <laughs> where is this lore coming from? He just likes to have fun by defeating Ganon. You know, I just wonder what Ganon's up to! Here's another Zelda 2 card. He's small in this one. Link and his pixie friend, Sprite, encounter enemies, monsters, and fiends as Link searches for the missing pieces of the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda smashed the Triforce and hid the pieces to prevent evil wizard Ganon. Oh, this is from the show. This is the cartoon. Um, from finding it in, in turn, Wicked Ganon imprison her for the deed who will help us rescue the princess, asks Impa, Zelda's nursemaid, and soon Link is off on an adventure. That's weird, it's combining art from the games with the show. So this is... Mario... 1? Look at Toad. Ah! 
To the delight of the Mushroom Kingdom people, Mushroom people, Mario defeats the Koopa foes and rescues Princess Toadstool. A simple plumber, Mario was working in Brooklyn one day when he heard a distant voice echoing up from the pipes. It was Princess Toadstool imprisoned by the evil King Koopa Bowser. Mario knew he could not stand by while such injustice reigned, so he leaped down the nearest manhole and whisked away to the Mushroom Kingdom and began work rescuing the princess. My camera keeps switching colors. Um, but yeah, that's more show lore. So what do I have here? White balance? Maybe there's like an auto white balance happening. I don't know if it's white balance. It might, it might be auto exposure. That still looks good, right? Yeah, that's fine. I just turned off anything that was auto, because I had some, um, some issues with this. I had to do some weird color correction to my Gordon Ramsay video. So, hopefully this fixes it. Chat, I have... Pikmin cards? From Japan. E-reader. Oh, so these are rare. Okay, I think these are the rare ones. Um... Don't... Yeah, so... Yep, e-reader. Fascinating. These are very rare. Okay. So... In other words, don't throw them. Like I did the, uh... Wacky packages. Got it. Someone said, I will buy those cards right now. I, I know, chat member, but I was told these are from 2004, so we're coming up on 20 years of these cards. Um, I was told that the chat member who sent these, who wants to go by chat member, just really, really wanted to create a card sauce episode. And I could not um, deny that. So it looks like it comes with... Um, I might need to change the exposure a little bit. It's a little overexposed. Hang on. Let's go. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, there, there's no middle ground in between those two? Alright, never mind then. I... never mind. We'll just... Alright. Usually an unopened pack of these is like... Forty to fifty dollars. Okay, that's the best I can do. I tried. Uh, all right. Well, here we go. So uh, this is a booklet, and it gives you instructions on how to e-read. As you can see. And here they are. So we got these fellers. We got this. We got this. This. Read it? Okay, sure. It says here, this is a creature called Kremrold. And that's it. It's just those cards. So, Scuttlebug, yeah. Yeah, I love Pikmin enemies too. Um, but yeah, these are great. I don't really know, you, you know, you need the e-reader. And once you e-read, things can happen, apparently. But there's other packs as well. It shows you all the instructions you need. And, uh, I guess it even shows you kind of generally what it does. So, I never had an e-reader. So that's pretty cool. Oh, we got Mars Attacks. 
we have got Mars Attacks. Thank you, chat member, for, again, um, it says here, bonus aliens. Thank you again for the, the fucking rare cards, just to make card sauce even more interesting. Some of these are like double wrapped, so you have to give me a minute while I figure all this out. So Mars Attacks, this is from 2012. Okay, so these are like well after the movie and well after the original run, but I think they're designed to... Yeah, they're, they're like the cardboard cards. And on the back, it gives you the, you know, the story. So it shows you, like, you know, you can follow along as you buy more packs. Oh, we got card number one. Act. Act. Death by impalement. Yeah, that seems about right. Changing face of evil. Yeah, that's it for those. But yeah, there's there's like again, they give you lore. Martians are cold, efficient conquerors who prefer to do their killing from afar with vaporizing weapons, piloted robotic walkers, and an army of giant insects. But when mankind displays a unique resolve and strength of will that they never accounted for, the Martians are forced to change their tactics. As victory becomes less certain, the science division unleashes terrifying new weaponry. A fleet of advanced attack saucers and more advanced infantry that changes the face of the invasion. Ah! Love those. Uh, Pixar? But Japanese? This is a very random collection of cards. Again, some of these are just, like, double-wrapped, so you have to give me an extra second here. But, yeah, we got uh, Pixar, and we have... Hmm. Made in Japan. Uh, it doesn't have a year on it that I can tell. I guess it's an actual, like, card game? Like, is this a TCG? Because there's numbers and stuff. Oh, God. Crusty Toy Story Kid. Frozen. Oh, God! Oh, it's Brave. Never mind. Ratatouille. I don't know what that is, but here's the back of the cards. Got these fellers. Um, is this the Incredibles? Where's the... Is, is that the one with the thick hips? This one? Okay. It's... Uh, well, this is a hollow card. Kind of see it. And uh, Buzz. Buzz Lightyear. From Toy Story... Toy Story 4. I heard that was the best one. It's a TCG from this year. This is uh, William Shatner's William Shatner's Tech War, made by William Shatner. Cards from William Shatner's Tech Wars. Hi, I'm William Shatner, and this is William Shatner's Tech Wars by William Shatner. Featuring William Shatner. Now, this is Tech World, so it's a little different. But, uh, yeah, guy's got, like, a fucking Counter-Strike gun. I don't know the name of it. I don't know the type of weapon it is, but... Dude means business, clearly. This is, um... 
Oh God, odds of finding a William Shatner or Lee Sullivan autographed card is one in every 1,728 packs. 1993, chat, chat. There could be within this pack an autographed William Shatner. Imagine that. Send it to Mike Stoklaza if you find one. That would be the best card sauce present of all time if we got... Alright, they're all stuck together. So the chat was definitely here. I-D-C-A? Idka? It's like, kind of like comic booky. And this is happening for some reason. I don't know what that's supposed to be. A car going into space. Oh, no, it's actually I was upside down. <laughs> I still don't know what it's supposed to be necessarily. It's a, I think it's a spaceship crashing. Um, still no autograph. Actually, that was a card that was stuck together. It's this type of card stock. I've seen this a bunch. Here's a satellite. Maybe it's supposed to be this way. Okay, uh... Does that say slum dirts? Oh, slum tours. Is that... Some kind of explosion. Don't know if that's supposed to be like William Shatner's like self-insert, but maybe. Spaceship. And unfortunately, there's only one more chance for a William Shatner autograph, and we didn't get it. A little Star Trekian. Oh well. Yeah, the chat did not uh, bless us. He did not grace this pack with his chat. With his chatness. Okay, I've, I don't think I've ever opened Digimon cards before. So I don't know anything about these cards. This might be a rare pack. 1999 Bandai. Whoa. Okay. This, okay, this could be OG Digimon. Now, are these particularly sought after? Eh, no. Okay. All right. Oh, it looks like it's a Spanish pack. I didn't even see that. Cartas Nivel Avanzado. Wow, they don't make these easy to open. Fucking hell. Chad, I'm struggling to open these cards from 25 years ago. Uh... Ah... Uh. I don't want to, like, bend the cards. This is Bandai, not Bendai. I'll be right back. Well, that was easy. Okay, so we've got um, Lady Devimon Organic Enhancer. 
Want some penis enlargement pills? Phantomon. S uh, Scyther? What, you know what's funny about Digimon is at this point in time, every Digimon is probably now a Pokemon. Or close enough. This looks like Squishers, yes. Shellmon. Frigimon. It- wow, everything's Amon. Seedramon. I don't think I've ever seen a real Digimon, ever. I don't even know if they're real. I don't know anything about Digimons other than that's them right there, so there you go. I didn't get any, um, hollows there, chat. Animal Crossing Sanrio Collaboration Pack. Amiibo. So this is interesting because I've seen these, but I never actually opened these. And I do have quite a few Animal Crossing cards from back in the in the day. So uh, this should be this should be interesting. Now, could Scoot be in this pack? That's all I want to know, chat. They give you unique villagers and items. No, Scoot cannot be in this pack. God damn it. All right, well. We've got Toby. I guess that's Toby's home as well, right? We've got Chelsea. We've got Chai. We've got the Toilet. We got Marty. We got Rilla. And that's it. I didn't get Hello Kitty. Or the frog. Or Scoot. Pukemon. Now, I've opened these before. This was a supplement from my own collection. By the way, I still have a lot of cards in my own collection. And they're mostly terrible, boring cards that you would never want to open. Like, a lot more like the New Kids on the Block stuff. Just really lame. But Pukemon, however, I don't think is lame at all. Here's Yuck. No Pokemon can get any more disgusting than this one. Chow down. So I might have actually opened up a, uh, a yuck before. I don't know. Here's some kind of evolution card. Drool to booger to... Let's say snuffy? Snotfly. Snotfly. Huh. Too nice. Wow, who would've... who would've thought? Now we actually do have two mouses in Pokémon. This Pokémon is constantly complimenting its enemies into a frenzy of frustration. Mean skill. Gag me with a spoon. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> but it proves my theory that in a long enough time frame, every fake Pokémon will eventually be a real Pokemon. Or close enough. Crazed. This Pokemon is the king of the beasts in a world of collectible garbage. Mean skills, si silly stuff. Vomitile. This reptile Pokemon eats his enemies and throws it up in chunks of bilious acid. Bilious acid. Mean skills, chunky peanut butter. <laughs> Oh, I do like those. I do like those cards. Again, from my own collection. Here's more Mario Brothers from the movie. A great movie, by the way. Excellent movie. Brilliant idea. 
whatever became of Spike and Iggy. The two idiots turned geniuses got a great idea. They figure they uh, wouldn't their adventures in the other world make an incredible Nintendo video game? Hmm, definitely something to think about. Never happened. Never, never happened. Two days or two hours. Just Scapelli. More Scapelli. Also, what is the lighting on this scene? Uh, fossils and friendship. Just gives you some... some movie. Oopa. Looking down from their perch atop the subway platform, Luigi and... Mario spot Daisy down on the street. Seeing them, she calls out desperately, but is abruptly yanked into a waiting taxi. The guys yell after her, attempting to chase the cab. Wow, such exciting cards. I mean, this is the way to watch the movie again at home. If you really loved the movie in 93, and you didn't want to wait for the VHS, you would just get the cards and be like, Oh, I remember the sludge gulpers! Wow, totally not just a truck dressed up to look like that. The elevator. Actually, one of the best scenes in the film is them in the elevator doing the... Those are Goombas, everybody. Yep, those were Goombers. Um, actual Pokemon again. The best scene is Mario fishing out the key from Big Bertha's tits. Oh. Now, I'm saving the really rare Pokemon for the very end. That'll be the, the finale. So. Yeah. Alright, chat. Dome Fossil. Okay. Weedle. Zubat. Goldeen. Ivysaur. Slowbro. Machoke, machoke and machicken. Eevee reverse hollow. Mankey reverse hollow. Vile plume hollow. And basic energy. Okay. Well, this isn't going to help me recover my cost of these product. Jeez. All right, let's keep moving. S Starfleet Maneuvers. Star Trek, the card game. <laughs> There's always got to be Star Trek. So, this is an expansion set from 1996. Come on, man. Can open up. Open up this pack. God damn. I, pr I promise you these cards are not worth a goddamn thing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, 99 cents. So uh, I don't know if they were 99 cents then or they're 99 cents now, but I think they're actually worth more as mulch than they are as like cards. Challenge, befuddle, or negotiate. So. That's what the back looks like. It's a, the Star Trek card game. Um, that is a uh, Klingon, as they said in the original series. Cl not Klingon, they said Klingon. Also, the card is really that dark. Native Club, what the fuck is that? I think it's it's a scene from the original series and it doesn't... I don't know what it is. Uh, don't know what... Norman? Oh, okay, I remember that episode. <laughs> Giant Black Cat. Yep, that is actually an episode from the original series. I believe it's just called Cat's Eye. It was a weird... Listen, it, it was a weird series. Agony Booth. Chat, I would love an Agony Booth. In, oh, wait, I have one. That's just life. But wouldn't it be great to have an Agony Booth in your home? 
Fatal Allure. Is that Spock with a giant spoon? Wait, what? Chat, this isn't real. Chat, is this real? W Spock with a comically large spoon? Only a spoonful? It's from Amok Time? I don't remember that. I mean, I've seen the original series like twice all the way through, but I don't remember that. Here's Knobhead. To pow. Isn't that Spock's mom? No. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Doesn't matter. Plot. The Changeling. Science Station. Dr. Spock there. Lieutenant Rowe. I Mud. And, uh. Ponfar. Isn't Ponfar when a Vulcan is in heat and needs to, like, hump something? Yep. That's pretty much what that is. It's like every seven years, a Vulcan needs to just hump. It's real weird. So, yeah, I don't know. That's the same episode. I, again, I don't remember so much of this stuff. That's why Godzilla is next. Godzilla Chromium. Trading cards. So, I saw Godzilla minus one, and I loved it. I'm not the biggest Godzilla or Kaiju fan. They're, they're good. I've not seen a whole lot. But I loved Godzilla minus one. And so, as a result, these cards will be very fun. Uh, these are from 1996. Okay. So, 1996 Godzilla cards. Here we go. It's nothing! Whoa, chat! That's amazing. Wow. That's so cool. Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. Now, I don't know, forgive the pun, but I don't know if I got a God Pack. Or if this is just, every card is just like this. But these cards are awesome. I, I had a couple Star Wars cards that had this kind of cut. Uh, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. It said Chromium set. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, but if every card is Chromium, then no cards is special. I mean, it's cool, but... Godzilla fears nothing. See, now I fear... That these cards are all so cool that they're also not worth anything. But I mean, yeah, they look awesome. They're worth something to me, chat. I mean, they're they're cool. Just to look at, really. That's a sticker, that one. Wow. Man, he is just Choking that snake. Just choking it up. So good. Hey, boys and girls! It's... <clears throat> Krusty the Clown on a Simpsons card pack. Please buy an extra... I can't do... I can't do the Krusty voice for very long. I can do maybe, like, one word. Is my little real Simpson impression. Ah! That's all I got. Also, if you want to see something cool, I don't know if I showed this last time, chat, but on my uh, other pin board here, you can see I got some cool ones, including. Uh, Mario from the Mario show and Vivi from Final Fantasy 9. Uh, and I've got a Korok. Yeah, ha, ha you found me. I really and I like the oh, him. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, Link. 
All right, so Simpsons. This is from the year 2003, which I was gonna say, oh, that's recent. And then I remembered that's older than many chat members. Uh, and <laughs> maybe, and also is uh, 20 years ago. So here's what the cards look like. This is a TCG somehow. Bumblebee man. Dr. Marvin Monroe. They have traits. Kent Brockman. Reverend Lovejoy. Superintendent Chalmers! Well, Seymour. I made it. That is... Hmm, that's going in foil or a, 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 a what are they called it's plastic springfield retirement castle old share the wealth take a peek come from behind wipe out poochie didn't poochie die on his way back to his home planet Homer getting some back shots. Really strange that. Mr. Woods! Sorry, I don't know. I'm getting loud with each card pack. But it's Lord of the Rings trading card game. Hang on. God damn, these things are on real good. All right. So, I don't know what year this is from. I probably have opened some expansion of this. This is from 2001. So, this is pretty original. Man, again, Card Chat member had access to some pretty amazing cards. Ulier Nartia. Messenger of uh, Dol Guldur. Three streets. These cards are a little hard to see on the camera. And yes, they are pretty dark, but... Celindy? Hey, that's not Brett McKenzie from Flight of the Concords. That's Figwit. Sting. I have the sword. Lonely! Plundered armories. So that is, um... Hmm, okay. I don't know. Ethnmores? Man, is it time for another Lord of the Rings rewatch? Their Halls of Stone. So obviously that is the Mines of Moria. Oh wow, it's the meme! Noble Intentions. It is a gift. Coat of mail. Yes, one does not simply walk into Mordor. Saruman's chill. Oh, that's when he blows the cold weather when they're at the Misty Mountains. And Goblin Scimitar. Really hard to see this stuff because it's just like, you know, movie... It's just like movie pictures. I would have loved to have played this back in the day, though. Like, actually learned how to play a card game. All new Star Wars Galaxy Series 2. So we go from one trilogy to another. I might have had some of these cards when I was younger. I'm surprised I didn't get into collecting cards when I was a kid. Because I had some, but it was, like... Fucking baseball cards. Like, I have... Basic, uh, basket. Uh, I have basketball and baseball cards from when I was younger. A lot. Like from 1989, 1990, 1991, and 2. So, yeah. 1994 is this. So, again, this is basically just the original trilogy and maybe some extended media.
Do you still have them? Yeah, I still have them. Oh yeah, this, there's extended media here, I think. Because the first card we have is Luke from a comic. And it's uh, Matt Haley. Why does Luke have a mullet? I can't even read that. I have to like... Matt Haley got his start penciling Star Trek The Next Generation, DC, and Phantom Fear. Okay. It's a... Uh, Star Wars Galaxy Magazine. I would have... I definitely would have enjoyed these cards as a kid. Um... Some... I think Ralph Macquarie art, the original concept, yeah, is his paintings brought Lucas's words to life. Helping convince 20th Century Fox to make Star Wars. Yep. Those are cool. I like Ralph Macquarie's art a lot. Han and Leia. It's supposed to be from Empire Strikes Back. Rebecca Guay. Uh, Star Wars was the best damn thing. Disney World being a close second. Boy, have I got news for you. Park Slope, Brooklyn, huh? <laughs> wow, Jabba looking... Mighty Jabba E. What do you think Jabba the Hut tastes like? Comic art. So that's them fleshing out the universe. Because again, at the time, it was pretty much just like comics and like novels. I don't know who the fuck this gormless prick is. But we're going to find out. Film production and poster art. Creatures galore sprung from the fertile imaginations or nightmares at ILM. Joe Johnston, art director of visual effects, came up with the sketch of a wretched soul. <laughs> he also drew the baby bug-eyed alien back as possible background character for Empire. Whole galaxies could be populated with creatures that weren't used. Oh, yeah. Tusken Raiders. Nice Telecaster you got there, Tim. What? Why is there a skeleton? Han, Chewie, and a skeleton. Also, another very dark card. Merchandising art of Star Wars. These covers for Han Solo and the Lost Legacy. Okay. So, a lot of this stuff I've never even heard of. Boy, it's a bunch of Ewoks fucking up a stormtrooper. So yeah, those are cool. I, I like, you know, these are interesting to me because Star Wars for me was a big thing. And the time that I grew up with Star Wars that I got into it was 94, 95. So at that time, the VHS, or maybe it was 95, the VHS re-releases had just come out. Shadows of the Empire was the only big thing on the horizon. Uh, there was just books and comics and shit. And then we heard about episode one. And then we were given Watto. This might be something special. I'm not sure. It says Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie. 1996. It's gold. Don't open... I mean, too late. It's a movie pack that is $400? No, it's not. No way. It's one card. And it's Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Yo. It was a theater promo. That movie pack does cost a lot. It's $20 at best. 
$35,000, $20 at best. Somewhere in between $20, $20 and 35000 probably. Foil it, Vinny. Yeah, I just stamp foil onto it. Um, then there's this. Show and jump. I guess it's like an advertisement. That's it. Just one card. I will sleeve it. I will put it in a sleeve. After I am done later. Is it not pronounced Showin? It's three dollars on TCG Player. Oh, sick! Oh man, I could buy myself a Dunkin' Donut. Reread it, Vin. Okay, it is Shonen. Oh, it's Shonen Jump. Tales from the Crypt trading cards. Shonen Jump is the magazine it was run in. I understand now. Fucking hell, this... Ah, some of this plastic is on so good. I know I say that over and over and over again. Okay, we have here... Tales from the Crypt is from 1993. These cards are from. The Man of Your Screams. I like him. I, the Crypt Keeper, I like him. This episode starring Morton Downey Jr. as TV talk show host who was cut down to size by one of his guests was built uh, based on a Bill Gaines comic. Oh, it was a, a quiz. The line just went dead. It's a skull, dummy. Planting ahead for the future. I love this Gormless Freak so much. Boy, it's just a lot of Crypt Keeper. Here's some, I guess, comics. May as well cross-promote your comics and your cards. Yeah, those are fun. The show is based on the comics. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we got some more e-reader cards here. Sample pack, five card set. Chat is losing their mind over this one, apparently. Not for resale. Holy shit. Okay. I'm surprised with how much schlorping I did for Nintendo when I was younger that I didn't have an e-reader. It just, I don't know, it seemed kind of lame. Maybe just money-wise, you know, when you're a kid, you can buy a couple packs of gum. It's like, oh, I can get a new video game or I can get an e-reader. Okay, now these could be interesting, chat. These could be interesting, because there are some Pokemon cards in the mix, but we'll start with this. Animal Crossing. It's time to move into Animal Crossing, the real-time life game that's always playing, even when you stop, available now. This is the first Animal Cross, right here. It's real cool. And then we have... Manhole. So this is just a Game & Watch game on a card. You just gotta scan the bottom there. And... Here are the Pokémon cards. I had some of these e-reader Pokémon cards, at least. Machamp. Machop. Machoke. <laughs> okay. Good enough for me. Got the whole gang. 
speaking of Pokemon, Pokemon Evolutions. When I was in my Pokemon phase, I did open some of these, or maybe like, was it, how many was it? A couple. Not a lot. Uh, this is from, what year is this from? 2016. I know this was a sought after pack. The evolutions when scanned let you play a mini game on the e-reader. So yeah, let's see how, how well we did. This is not uh, a cheap pack. It might be cheaper now, but when Pokemon was in its uh, fucking crazy state a couple years ago, the, these were not cheap. Sandshrew, Ponyta, Magnemite. This is again another set based on originals. Uh, you got Fat Pikachu, I love him. We got Porygon Reverse Hollow. That's a nice reverse hollow. RK9. Nidorino. Trainer. Porygon. Oh, I didn't do the thing. Because the new new packs, you don't have to do the thing, chat. So no hollow here, but we did get a Porygon. So yeah, the the card trick it's uh it's only for here we'll do another 151. I got two more 151. So I'll show you. The 151 sets already have it so that the best cards are last. So here's these, right? So you you put this aside and then you don't even have to do the trick. It's just already done for you now. Ratata, Squirtle, Licky Tongue, Venonat. Wartortle. Hypno. <laughs> Polyrath. Um, Pikachu. Is that what it is? I think it's called Pikachu. It's a reverse hollow. Voltorb. And a Chansey hollow. Kinda. Yeah. I like the art. It's not, like, really worth very much, but I don't think, at least. But the Chansey's pretty cool. Um. So, we do have some Magic the Gathering, of course. Magic Unhinged. I'm pretty sure I've opened Unhinged before. Um, in fact, I, I still have Unstable. Read all of these, they're hilarious. I won't understand them. We've been through this. <laughs> I'll read as much as I understand, or if I start getting bored. These ones are from... ...2004. And I love the... ...the pack. Like, it's got a different type of material. It's like more papery... ...than plastic. So these are like officially parody cards from Magic the Gathering, if I'm not mistaken. So Vile Bile, Creature Ooze, whenever a player something fingernail touch Vile Bile, that player loses two life. Whenever a player's skin or fingernails touch Vile Bile. Huh. Goblin Swat. Say Goblin Swat team. Put a 1-1 counter on Goblin SWAT team unless opponent swats the table within five seconds. Play this arbitrarily. Uh, sorry, ability only once each turn. Snot. As a snot creature comes into play, you may stick it onto another creature named Snot in play. If you do, all those creatures form a single creature. Snot's power and toughness are not are equal are each equal to the square of the number of snots stuck together. Or are a 1616. Jesus. Cheap ass. Donkey Townsfolk. Spells you play cost half less to play. <laughs> Carnivorous Death Parrot. Flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice carniv Carnivorous Death Parrot unless you say it's flavor text. Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. 
when fluffy bunnies attack. Target creature gets blah blah blah. X is the number of times the letter of your choice appears in that creature's name. Get it? Bunnies, letters, mi and minus X, minus X, me neither. Uh, Bucky, flavor text writer. Red Hot Hottie. If you get a basic foil land from this set, those are legit worth like 50 bucks. Interesting. This is Melted. You have to scream ah at the top of your lungs for that one. What the fuck? Our market research shows that players like really long card names, so we made this card have the absolute longest card name ever, Elemental. Just call it Amorst for short. Card Pecker. Gotcha. Whenever an opponent touches the table with his or her hand, you may say gotcha if you do return Card Pecker from your graveyard to your hand. Loose Lips. As Loose Lips comes into play, choose a sentence with eight or fewer words. Enchanted Creature has flying. Whenever Enchanted Creature deals damage to an opponent, you draw two cards and let the... I just blanked. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Name Dropping. So there's Gotcha again. And then uh, Gemini. This week is a good time to branch out and meet others, but don't forget your roots. The fuck? Spell Counter. There's Gotcha again. Playing unhinged. Alright. Zombie Fanboy. Zombie Fanboy comes into play. Choose an artist. Whenever permanent by the chosen artist is put into graveyard, put two plus one counters on uh, Zombie Fanboy. The real advantage of being a zombie gamer? No one notices the stench. Island. No hollows in this pack. And, uh, rare be gone. Each player sacrifices all rare permanents. Reveals his or her hand, discards all rare, rare cards. Even a standard one is worth like 20 bucks. That island is worth more than anything else. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, it's just tough for me to understand what the fuck I'm saying half the time. Like, no, I mean, a lot of it makes sense, but then some of it really doesn't kind of make sense. Um, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure we've seen all of these, but when I was growing up, these are the cards that were the cool cards to get from 1989. The, um, I say cool, but I have no idea how cool they were. Here's Super Mayro Bros. They're scratch-off cards. I've showed these plenty in previous card sauces. And it shows you how to play. Bald Bull. Punch out. And it shows you how to play. Once again, there is there are rules here. The scratch-offs don't work anymore. I've tried in previous cards. Here's Link versus a Moblin. And, uh some stickers teaching kids how to love scratch offs maybe unfortunately yeah as I said these ones do not work remember these I, I'm pretty sure I've opened a pack of these almost every card sauce you could win a rock and roll trip to London plus other great prizes chat we never won a goddamn thing from these cards. And if I win, I'm calling up whatever phone number is given to me. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like... Yeah, you got uh, Richard Marks. You got uh, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Basia. Starship. You've got Luther Vandross, George Michael, The Cult, Debbie Gibson, Belle Biv DeVoe, 
I remember them. Um, Annihilator. Fucking hair metal. And these are from 1990, I believe, so... Yeah, so of course there's plenty of hair metal. Uh, this actually, I remember these do scratch off. The other ones do not. So this is where we could win a rock and roll trip to London. Yeah, The Cult is a good band. I enjoy their music. <laughs> Sorry, try again. Well. Fuck. Someone said Annihilator is not hair metal. Or they're like making an insinuation that they're not. Do these fellers not have hair? I'm just wondering. Are they glam? Listen, it's a joke term. I don't really even know what like hair metal is anymore. But you know, to me they, they looked quite hairful. I, this may be another rare pack, I'm not sure, but it's Pokemon Gotta Catch Em All Pokegum. Printed bubblegum and puzzle card. So. Let's see. I might, I might try the gum. Listen, I've tried the gum from the late 80s in some of these packs, and it was, like, wretched. This might be a little different. 1999 from Candy Planet. So, uh, there's nutrition facts. I can smell the gum. That means it's not, like, overly stale. Because the other gum would just crumble, like, from, like, the old baseball card packs. Um, this is probably stuck to... Oh boy. Chat. Oh, oh god. Uh. I don't even know what to do here. It, uh, oof. It smells kind of still like gum. I'm, I'm struggling... I'm, I'm like kind of struggling here. Oh. I'm good. Mm hmm? Love it. I love it. No, I was eating, um, I just, I made Christmas crack with Ritz crackers to, to see if it worked. It works. You can't even tell the difference. Um, I just, yeah, so I, I may have spit some of that gum out on Nortz's foot. I cleaned them up real good. It was um, cardboardy uh, tasting, and eating it like like biting into it was like um, it just kind of disintegrates into a dust, and then it tastes kind of moldy. 
maybe I'm being paranoid, but something about it just made me very... I was like, this is a bad idea. It's sand true. It smells weird. Even though it kind of still smells like gum, it also smells real fucking weird. I don't know how to explain it. By the way, you can see, originally, Magneton was printed on this. Now you can't see that anymore, really. Uh, but it was there, originally. And then this... I, I can't even really tell what this was supposed to be, chat. Can you? Dugong, maybe? I think it's Dugong. Yeah. Yeah, oh man. Alright. Well, I'll save this and true. Sleeve the gum. Yeah, alright. Oh, it's got a real weird smell. It really does. Fucking hell. Lamau anal probed. More Mars attacks. We're getting uh, closer to our finale chat where I open original Pokemon cards from the 90s. Bro really thought it was going to be different this time. Well, they were... The gum, to be fair, was 10 years... newer. I will get sleeves before I open those cards. I have plenty of sleeves, I just need to get them. I have good ones, too. Charred by Martians. Burning Navy ships. The Flamethrowers. Death in the Cockpit. Ooh. Battle in the Sky. London Falling. Those cards are great. Dinosaur Attack. Oh no. Oh no, more poison. This actually just, yeah, smells like cardboard and plastic. Like it has no discernible smell. You can really see the texture of it. Like, just kind of immediately cracks in half, too. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. We don't want that. These cards are from... 88. So you got the Tyrannosaurus sticker here. Um, tourist trap. Jesus. Time Twister. Oh, that's how they got here. It looks like they're in a, a portal of bone, viscera, and gore. I don't know if they are, but I kind of think they are, and I love it. Back, back, back through the long centuries they are sent. Some are whole, others are twisted lumps of flesh and bone. All are hurtling to their point of origin in the Mesozoic Age. Please make a game about this, someone. Like, I want to see that in a video game. Like, that needs to be Turok 4. Like, the next Turok game needs to have a, a, a gore tornado of dinosaur parts. <laughs> Sorry, gornado. Business lunch. Man, Tim Burton did a Mars Attack movie. I want to see a dinosaur attack movie. Maybe not from Tim Burton. Unless Beetlejuice 2 is good. A kid strikes back. Is there a video about the lore of these cards? They look cool. There probably is. But these are some of the best fucking cards I've ever seen. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god.
soon, chat. Soon we will we will open them cards. The ones that will <clears throat> make me a millionaire. <laughs> They're worth less because they're not first edition. They're the, the unlimited uh, kind, but they were still made at that time. Um, here's more of these fucking DS9 cards. You can't free a fish from water. Done a quark in a while. Treat people in your debt like family. Exploit them. <laughs> what you call genocide, I call a day's work. Oh wait, that's not Garrick. That's Guldar Heel. Fuck. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. If you haven't seen DS9, um, this is the episode duet, one of the best episodes in the show. If you haven't seen, this is basically, I don't know how to explain it other than space Nazis is kind of partially what they're doing a little bit. It's like space World War II in, you know, some of the setting. Um, it's a really, really well done, well written show, and it is one of my favorite shows of all time. And it holds up pretty well. I wish it would get a full restoration if they just cleaned up the film and, you know, did what they did for TNG. That would be wonderful. Keep your ears open! I can't do the voice anymore. Are you kidding? That's the seventh rule of acquisition. Jitsia, Dax. It's uh, Jeffrey Combs from Reanimator. The ninth rule of acquisition clearly states that opportunity plus instinct equal profit. Chat, my throat is closing. Do you think it's because of that gum? Never trust anyone who places your prosperity above their own. That's Wallace Shawn. Uh, some of you know who that is. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna tell you, but... Inconceivable! Vinny, I'm using you to annoy my neighbors. Thank you for tonight. That's cool. You should play my choicest voice on full volume and then call the cops. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. Speaking of dinosaurs. There are people who don't get the reference, I don't think. That's played out. Yeah. Well, it's still somehow being used in um, television shows to this day. Somehow. But uh, for those that don't know the event, it was uh, it was rather bizarre, and I still don't fully understand it, but whatever. Jurassic Park. Look for random action holograms. Uh, Raptor in the shed. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, they're backwards. Yeah, Raptor in the Shed. Fallen Behemoth. Is this just after Grant finds the, the dinosaur shit? Refrigerated Refuge. This is one of the scenes that scared me the most. The raptors in the fucking kitchen. Before he finds the shit. Oh, God damn it! I got a duplicate. Dr. Ellie Sattler. Oh god, what, what's her name? Um, Holdo. Laura Dern. Concept art. Well, we didn't get any rare cards this time, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay, another 151. This is the final 151. I don't even know what the chase card is for the 151 set, but after this, the only Pokemon left are the originals. So, here we go, chat. Wish me luck. Pidgey. Metapod. 
Ponyta, Hollywag. We've got so many of these already. Pidgeot, Omanite, Tauros, Nidorino, Clefable, Reverse, Hollow, no, Vaporeon. Did you? And Basic Energy. That's it. So, yeah, nothing great. Yeah, the Clefable was a Reverse Hollow. Same for Nidorino. But, you know, that those reverse hollows in that hollow, it doesn't really matter. So. Chad, that's your fault, by the way. That I know what that, it, what that means. Uh, Magic the Gathering, unglued. Ten bizarre and broken cards. A supplement to Magic the Gathering. I've opened these packs before, too. These are a lot of fun. Just like the other ones. I think these are more recent. We're going to find out. Oh, no. These, these are older. This is 1998. This is the first joke set. I could make a deck completely out of joke cards. I, I think I have that many already. So. Let's see. Sex appeal. Prevent up to three damage total to any number of creatures in our players. If there are more players in the room of the opposite sex, prevent up to three additional damage total to any number of creatures and or players. That's too much stuff. I don't want to think about that. Foul play. An enchanted creature loses all abilities and one one creature that counts as a chicken. I feel like a chicken tonight. Temp of the Damned. When you play Temp of the Damned, roll a six-sided die. Temp of the Damned comes into play with the number of funk counters on it equal to the dice roll. See, I don't know what's happening here. Uh, scissors Lizard. I do like this, though. Paper Tigers cannot attack or block. Oh, that's funny. Paper Tigers. Heh. <laughs> Goblin Bookie. Glock loved bets. He sit in a he'd sit in a bar all night and laugh and laugh. Hey, he still owes me. Growth spurt. More to love. Friendly, nature loving. Bunion esque. S E M seeks S E F for huge commitment. Just a goblin feller. <laughs> okay. Uh, Charm school. When Charm School comes into play, choose a color and balance Charm School on your head. Prevent all damage to you of the chosen color. Oh, you actually have to put that on your head. I see. Chicken a la King. During the Chicken Revolution, the King managed to keep his head while the other as well just ran around. And a forest card. I wonder if that's worth money. Is this also, like, this land card also worth from this set? Gob token is four bucks. The forest and goblin tokens are worth a lot since they're mint. Well, I will be putting them in, um, a sheath. In a card dom at some point. Okay, <clears throat> of course, oh fuck, I opened the pack without showing you, but it is Star Trek The Next Generation, of course it is, 25th anniversary, 1991, 12 full color Star Trek cards. We'll, we'll do this quick. The dress uniform. Dr. Pulaski, oh boy, everyone's favorite doctor. Season 1 Wharf. The main bridge forward stations. Riker and Data. Upside Down Riker. Shades of Grey. Worst episode. It's a clip show. It's a terrible episode. Ship's Computer. Okay. Um, is that Legacy? Tasha Yar's sister, I believe. Yeah. Sarek. That's Spock's father. From the episode, Sarek. A Matter of Perspective. The bonding. This is when the child uh, basically latches onto data. Up the long ladder. I don't even remember this episode. Oh yes, I do. It's the, it's where they have the space Irish people in the ship. Not even kidding, by the way. And Data's Day, directed by Patrick Stewart. True story. This 
it's a good episode. It's a fun episode. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. We are rapidly getting closer to the end of this segment. I know I've said that four times. One more Magic the Gathering joke pack, and then we are ready to go. So this is unstable. I think this is the most recent joke set. I've opened a bunch of these in previous uh, streams, and again, these are a little bit more second most recent. Okay, so I think maybe I'll understand some of these, maybe I won't, but it'll be fun to check them out. Squirrel Dealer. <laughs> when Squirrel Dealer enters the battlefield, ask a person outside the game, do you like squirrels? If he or she does, create a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token. You see that sheen on the fur? The glint in their eyes? Top quality. These are the real deal. Adorable kitten. This uh, set involves a lot of chimeras. There's like a lot of the cut in half cards. Magic word. As magic word enters the battlefield, choose a word. Whisper the chosen word. Tap enchanted creature. Joyride rigor. When they enter the battlefield, it assembles a contraption. Chitty chitty, bang 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 bang. Spell suck. Counter target spell, then assemble a contraption. Suck. Okay? <laughs> it just says suck. Alright? Stinging scorpion. Wrench rigger. Okay, there's another one of these fellows. Goblin innovator. Goblin corpse. Tomato. Tomato. Target minotaur. Kindly Cognition. Okay. First pick. Picking, ham Picking hammers is dangerous, but it's still safer than harvesting saw bushes. Steam Floggery. Goblins only have two speeds, hard loaf and full-on hammer freakout. Yeah, so there's like contraptions and shit. Like, this is, this is weird stuff. This one's got a little, uh, thing at the bottom there. I don't know what that means. Kind Slaver. Here's a mountain. It's also got a thing at the bottom. It means it's rare. That's like 20 bucks. Okay, how about this one? Mountains are nice. The other ones were funnier. Yes, I agree. This is a full art. Full-ish art. And here's, um... I thought that's a... Optical Oppenheimer. And uh, I do have an Elemental Hollow. It's a token. So. Again, no idea how much this stuff is worth. That one is very pricey. That is a rarer token. Nice. Okay. Kellogg's. Nintendo 64 3D trading cards. 5 per set. So these, I understand, to be quite rare. Um, obviously, yeah, 1996. Makes me wonder, like, how much did this pack cost to acquire? Three thousand quatlus. Oh, thirty thousand quatlus. Okay. Uh, so these are some thick ass cards. I will tell you that much. This is amazing. Chat. It's, it's a holographic Mario card, and it, it is really good. The effect is phenomenal. Really, really well done card. There's, uh, unfortunately, a thin layer of crust on top of it. But that's also because it was, like, attached. eBay shows packs for 85 bucks. Controlling Mario, use the control stick to move Mario in the direction you wish. 
barely push the control stick to make Mario move slowly, tiptoe up, to make Mario slowly tiptoe past sleeping enemies, push the control stick all the way to make him sprint. For latest news, go to Nintendo.com. Beta screens on the back. Oh, you're right, because of the... Yeah. You can tell by the um, UI. Bowser. Again, there's like schmutz on these cards, and that's not any fault of my own. They just, they were prepackaged with schmutz. To defeat Bowser, Mario needs to use his speed to get behind the King of the Koopas. And it tells you how to do it. Locks. You have to rely on timing to pass the bone-breaking thwomps. Huh. Big Boo. Like, Render 64 just looks like this now. Someone said absolutely wild to have tutorials and cereal box cards, yeah? Big Boo loves to make life difficult for Mario, but his Boo is worse than his bite. Boo will only attack Mario... Uh, attack if it, Mario isn't facing him. Lure Boo towards you by turning your back on him and holding the Z button. Just tells you how to defeat these enemies or like get past them. And penguins! Those are some stinky looking penguins. They don't even look like that in the game. It's like beta penguins. When you return the young penguin to its mother, Mama Penguin will offer to race you down an icy slope. When you beat her, she'll give you a star for your efforts. If you find that Mama Penguin is too slippery for you to catch as you rush down the slopes, look for a line of coins that runs into a wall. <laughs> Follow the line of coins straight into the wall to find a shortcut to the end of the race. It just gives you the secret. Wow. Chat. I love these cards. Easily my favorite cards of the night. Easily. For someone that... I mean, the 3D effect is cool. The tutorials are kind of weird, but... Like, as someone who has a ton of nostalgia for Mario 64. These are my favorite cards. So, yeah, I love them. Really, really great. Alright, chat. Do we... Where do we... Where do we go from here? So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the order of release was this, then Jungle, and then... Fossil. Alright, okay, so we'll start with Fossil. I don't know how much chat member spent on these, or if chat member had these. But... I mean, this is, this is insane. Millions of dollars. Repack or way too much. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, again, these aren't first edition. They are unlimited. But I don't think I really care. I think... I mean, unlimited could still be worth some money. And again, I'm not looking to sell these cards. You were just given these? Yes. Probably weighted out so no hollows. Not true. They are unweighed as well, so I don't know if they're heavy and full of hollows or not. That is literally what it says in the email. So... Um, what music should I play for this chat? What Pokemon music? What soundtrack? Maybe, um... Oh god. Pokemon... I'll just do red and blue. All right, chat. I have not opened a pack of these cards since the late 90s. So here we go. I'm going to be very careful. And 
I will definitely put these cards in sheathing. Do I still have to do the three card trick chat for these? Yes. Save the pack itself as the packs are also very collectible. Oh, oops. Uh, <laughs> okay. Cloister. Sand Slash. Golbat. Kabuto. Krabby. Tentacool. Recycle. I thought that Jigglypuff was hanging. Gambler. Orsi. Ekans. And Zapdos. So no hollows in this one, but we did get a Zapdos. Uh, chat is enjoying this card. Is that good? There's a hollow version of that. It's like five bucks. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. All right. No problem. It is a legendary Pokemon. I know that. Yeah. Jungle. Why is the Master Sword rising from a redacted stain in the background? That's... It's Link. Just really reflective. I'll try to be more careful with opening this pack, but here we have a jungle booster. Uh, as some of you know, this was, I think, the first booster, right? 1999, Wizards of the Coast. That's base set. Okay. Well, this pack is kind of not easy to open and keep in one piece uh, here, so... Um, oops. No, it's in good shape. It, I can just tape it back up. So here we go. Primeape. Weepin' Bell. Sea King. Or Sea King. Goldeen. Meowth, favorite. Mankey. Jigglypuff. Paris. Execute. Eevee. <gasps> Victory Bell Hollow. Oh shit, we got something, we got a hit. Four bucks. Four bucks for a vic victory bell follow. Amazing. Someone said, um, the shit I took this morning was worth more. <laughs> Chat, this is a very important moment here. This is the original Pokemon set. Once again, it is not first edition, and I do have a, a number of first editions. I actually have some decent ones and some hollows, too. But, that said, this is like... <clears throat> when I was younger, I opened so many of these packs. And so... I'm excited to open one again. What does the inside of the pack smell like? Kind of like nothing. So we're going to have 
the alien booba lady. Bless this pack. Okay. The pack has been blessed. Once again, the pack is in very good shape. I can just put it right back together. Look at that. That's nice. It's not bad, because from the front, it looks flawless. So, I'm very happy with that, okay? Okay. Seal. Kakuna. God, so many of these are so familiar, chat. War Turtle. Diglett, another shitty 3D render for some reason. <laughs> Magnemite, we're getting all of the 3D cards here. Caterpie. Trainer card, Gust of Wind. Bulbasaur. Energy. Ah. Wait, 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 oh, there's one more. Oh, it's Clefairy Doll. Oh. <laughs> Boo. Got a Bulbasaur. Let's see, what's the rarest card in this set? It... None of these have a star. I think it's the fucking Clefairy doll. Not in this set, I mean in what I have here. Clefairy doll is the rare. Okay. Well, you know, unfortunately we didn't, with these old packs, get anything too crazy. But I would say the Hollow Victory Bell is kind of nice. And the Zapdos is cool. They're still rare. It's still fun to open these packs. A Hollow Victory, but a victory nonetheless. Um, I will put these in plastic, these two. And I'm going to put the cards, while I play Ultra Kill, I'm going to put them in a uh, cigar box that I was given. This is the, the box that the chat member sent. <laughs> so we're going to put them in there. But, uh, yeah, thank you, chat member. If you ever want me to credit you, chat member, please let me know. Because I'd be happy to do so. But they, you know, they specifically said, no, I just refer to me as chat member. So, thank you for sending all these cards. This, this is really great. This made for an excellent card sauce segment, I would say. They sent you more mold. Yep. Yep. Well, now I have mold in my lungs because I accidentally inhaled um, the vapors chat. And I intentionally inhaled the, uh, whatchamacallit, the fucking gum. I guess eating is now inhaling. So I am I'm yet again poisoned. Ack. I've been poisoned. So I'm gonna go through these cards and I'm gonna sheathe the cards that need sheathing. Um, but not now. Huff the base set pack air. Okay, I will. It's weird, chat member. It's like a really weird thing to tell someone, but...
you need to huff the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Best smell. I do wonder, though, like, maybe someone who's especially, um, you know, aware of these things, I do wonder what, of all the things I, I had tonight, what the rarest card was. Like, what is the most... Maybe leave a comment on the YouTube version of this. Like, what is the rarest card of the night? So, yeah. Uh, packs are secure, cards are secure. Everything is in good shape. And that is card sauce, chat. We made it through another card sauce. Um, the Pokemon Addiction, you're gonna post your Kappas, but I, I haven't really had any, like, inclination to buy Pokemon cards in, like, any, uh, sizable amount in quite some time. Like, well over probably a year and a half now. Maybe two. It's one of those things, like, if it's a new set that seems cool, I might buy a couple. But, um, it's- that- that part of me is gone. The cards themselves are fun, especially if they're weird, if they're old, if they're rare. But when it comes to, like, new cards, I just- I just don't have the same- I don't have the same amount of interest like I used to. But this was a lot of fun. And, uh... I thank you for watching. Vinny, Gen 10 will have ducks and you will kneel. <laughs> well, anyway. Yes, card stream was fun today. Thank you all once again. We're going to take a quick break. And I will be back. With Ultra Kill, the new, the new stuff. The new update. Be back in just a little bit.